How should I manage my media? This is a question I get quite frequently in my one-on-one -on -one training sessions. And my answer is almost always, let Final Cut Pro do the heavy lifting. Let Final Cut organize the content for you. Here's what I mean. When you go to import media using the import media window or using command I, you'll select the content you want to import. In this case, I'm going to import this picture of a rose that's on my desktop. And on the right side, there's two options for what do you want to do with the files. You can either copy them to the library or leave the files in place. Almost universally, I recommend copying them to the library. Especially if you're newer to Final Cut Pro 10, you can let Final Cut do the organization for you. If you choose to leave the files in place, that means you're going to have to manually organize that content. Here's what I mean. Let's go ahead and leave the rows in place, which is just going to leave it on the desktop. And I'm going to import that selected clip. I can now go create a project. Let's call it our rows project. And I can add this clip to the project. And let me do Shift Z to fit it. And here we have the clip on the timeline. Everything is working exactly how Final Cut should work in this case. The difference is behind the scenes right now, anytime it's looking at this rose picture, it's doing it based on the clip being on the desktop back here because we left it in place. So if I select the rose and do Command Delete, I'm going to delete it from the desktop, Final Cut is going to lose it. It's not going to know where that file is and we're going to get this missing file error message. I could click on the desktop and do Command Z to put the file back. I'm going to move it out of the trash back onto the desktop. And if I click back into Final Cut, it finds it and knows where it is and it's back online. So it's fine. It's, everything's going to work as long as you are managing those files that you have left in place. Now, if you're new to Final Cut, if you're trying to learn Final Cut, the last thing you want to deal with is having to also manage all of your media. That's why I recommend when you go to import a file that you choose to copy it to the library. What that means is this rows file that's sitting on the desktop, it'll still be there, but it's then also copied into, in this case, the flowers library. So that library, which is self-contained, it's kind of like a folder that has everything, will contain your media as well. It'll be a lot less likely that you'll delete something that you need inside of Final Cut. Because if I quit Final Cut, I don't know that this rose is necessarily linked. I won't see that error message right away if I were to delete it from the desktop. Now, if you are a more experienced Final Cut editor, you may have been using leave files in place for a while and you don't want to do that anymore. That's okay. We can select these files and go up to File and there's going to be an option under File to consolidate the project media. And sorry, let me select the project, which is our 913. So I go to File and then, yeah, in this case there's going to be the event. We'll consolidate the event media and it lets us know what's going to happen here. Original media will be consolidated or copied into the library flowers. You can also include optimize and proxy media. We don't have any of that, but that's okay. We'll hit okay. And now what happened is it made a copy of rose, this rose picture, into the flowers library as if I had selected copy to um, the library initially. So what that means now is I can delete this file from the desktop and in, back inside of Final Cut, it's fine. It does not go offline. If I right click or control click on the rows and choose Reveal in Finder, I can see that here's the rows. And let me go up to View and say Show Path Bar. I like the path bar here. We can see that this rows is taking the path of original media, which is a folder inside the event of today's date. Then we see the flowers library and it's inside Macintosh HD. So that is what it means to import or copy that file to the library, is Final Cut will manage those files for you. So again, to review, when you go to the Import window or Command-I, 
make sure to choose copy to library to copy all of the content that you import into Final Cut into the library itself. If you don't do that, you can then go back up to file and there's going to be an option to consolidate either the project or the event library. I think you can also do the library file, consolidate library media. So if you have a whole bunch of events, you can consolidate them all at once. And that'll give you the option then to consolidate or copy all of those files. Just note that copying that content, uh, I mean, it does take additional storage space. Depending on how your drives are formatted, you might be using double, if not more, uh, storage space. So make sure you have that available uh, space on the hard drive where you're consolidating to. Uh, with the, the last tip here, with the library selected, um, there is an option in the inspector to choose or modify where the content is being stored. So uh, you can definitely change that. Um, you'll see storage location, modify settings. So if you do want to manually choose where that media is stored, you can choose a, a custom folder. Uh, I've been told or people have mentioned to me that they do the leave files in place because they want to put it into a specific folders. Uh, you can do that. You can just modify the entire uh, library to, to store media in a specific folder. And then when you import, you can just always copy it to the library, in this case, which will be that folder. So uh, you do have that option as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Leave a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you did not like about it. If there's a question I did not answer that you were expecting me to, Please just leave a comment. Let me know about that. That's how I can get these videos to be the best possible. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.